Hey guys, so for one reason or another, you might be out during the day trying to find the planets, and that can be a real challenge based on how little contrast you get compared to at night, of course, so it can be really challenging. And there are a couple different ways to try and find them. Uh, a bunch of them involve using like your outstretched hand or palm in order to try and use it as a reference for a certain amount of degrees, and then using some sort of reference point like the horizon to try and work your way up to figure out which area you need to sort of look at or scan. Uh, with your eyes or with your telescope to just try and find them, but I'm going to show y'all a quick little trick that Galileo actually invented in order to try and find the planets during the day, and it is called Skyline. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, but you can use your uh, guided telescopes in order to try and find the planets during the day. You do need a reference, so normally the moon's a great fill-in for this. You can just use some lunar lines, but ultimately, Sometimes you may actually want to use the sun, as blasphemous as that sounds. So that's what I'm going to be trying to do today in order to try and, Venus, uh, try and find Venus. Venus right now is actually pretty close to the sun. We're nearing inferior conjunction, and it's probably less than 10 degrees from the sun right now. Uh, I would not, 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 not ever do this specifically with your eyes. Um, I'm going to be using a camera for my astrophotography stuff, even though I sort of know what I'm doing here for this, and um, oh yeah, even though I sort of know what I'm doing here for this, I would never risk my eyes doing this, okay? Like, just straight up, seriously. So, with that said though, let's hop into it. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is have your telescope perfectly leveled. When we're relying on the sun or a body like the moon for alignment as just a single alignment point, this is incredibly important. You don't have very many frames of reference, so you need to have this alignment flawless. So we have that, uh, that leveling done really well. And then from here, we'll come over to our hand controller. And in this specific case, since I'm using the sun, we need to enable sun tracking if we don't have it already. So I'm just going to hit enter, which pulls up the, um, allows us to open up the menu. And then I'm going to go to menu. I press back and hit menu, uh, which will open up our little menu here. Just going to scroll through it real quick. And when you get to the option called utilities, you should be able to scroll through that menu and have a sun menu. So right now I have the sun enabled, so it's not showing me the enable sun option, it's just saying remove. But in order to track the sun, you're gonna have to hit enable there for the sun tracking. So real quick, I'm actually gonna go out and put my solar filter on. The whole reason I'm shooting this in the car right now is cause the heat index here in Texas at the moment in the summer is around 115. Okay, so now with my filter on and my camera plugged in, we're going to try and get this set up. So I'm just going to go here and use the alignment feature. So X there. We're just going to use solar system align. Actually, hold on. But yeah, solar system align. We're just going to use our custom site. All this information should be good for me. The time right now is going to be... 14.06 approximately. So we're just gonna hit that. You like savings. It is currently 08.05.23. Go. And then since we enabled the sun here, it should pop up as an option under our solar system line here. So I'm just gonna hit select sun. Yes. It's going to give us a warning that you do not want to be looking at the sun with your eyes or with your equipment unless you have the proper filters on, which we do. So we're just going to hit enter again. So it will allow us to then slew the telescope to where we want it to be. So the way that I'm actually going to get it positioned is I'm going to use the shadow of the telescope in order to tell where I need to move the telescope to in order to find the center of the sun, or the sun relative to where we're looking right now. I do have my laptop here pulled up with the live feed, but 
that unfortunately is not going to be super informative for getting uh, until we're actually fairly close to the sun. So I'm going to get that set up now. Okay, so when I said align using the shadow, I mean you want the barrel of your telescope pro uh, to project what's essentially a circle, so right here. And that should be able to get you fairly close to the sun. I'm going to hone in on here in just a second. I've actually only got the uh, main camera in. There's no Barlow on the end of this lens attachment right now because we're going to go and start from wide field and then once we're actually on target, we're going to zoom in. But at the moment, I'm going to try and get some focus on the sun here real quick. And that looks the, the edge of the sun right there. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the exposure back just a little bit more and try and go outside and get the focus set. And there we are, a nice little focus on the sun. You can see those sunspots right there too. So I'm just going to have it hit enter and align. So if all that worked, we should have star pointer success and now we should be tracking. Which it looks like we are. So from here, I'm going to just go solar system and then have it go towards Venus here. I'm going to release this a little bit to get some slack on the controller so that we don't disrupt the alignment that we just worked so hard to get, but I'm just going to go hit Venus. And now the telescope should send where we want to go. At this stage, I still have the solar filter on, and I'm not going to take that off until we are at where it thinks Venus should be. Don't damage your equipment here. Be very careful with this. And now that we're finally in the area on Venus, I'm going to just slew around just a little bit. Oh, and there it is. That worked flawlessly, actually. I didn't think that was going to be that good. So we are on target right there. I'm probably going to tune in the focus just a little bit, but we just found Venus. While it's kind of close to the sun during the day. So I hope you guys found that helpful and I'm going to capture this.